Buenas, buenas. Welcome to In The Dog. I'm Kevin Ochoa. And today we're going to be taking a look at how to audio restore inside FL Studio. So most people don't know that you can do some level of audio restoration inside FL because FL has an audio editor called Edison, which can do spectral editing. And because it has spectral editing, it can either do noise removal, it can also do click removal and hum removal. So today we're going to be talking about the click removal. And yesterday I was making some impact kicks here's one of them now while this is cool there's clearly some problems there's a lot of clicks in there there's a bit of distortion but i like distortion so that's cool but the clicks are a big problem because once you're in a record and you put that in the record and you put some reverb even more reverb on this um you're going to get clicks and whatnot. You're going to get more early reflections and whatnot. But we can actually remove this inside of FL. And here's the clean version of this kick. Check that out. It's clearly very different. I'm going to enlarge this wave candy. And I'm also going to pause right here with this snow button right here. Now, let's play this back. And the clean one again. All right, so this wave candy lets us have a better visual cue what we have right here. You can see here, here clearly that there's clicks right here, right here, 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 and there. And with once it's processed, most of the click is gone. There's a little bit in the high end, but for the most part, we're not going to be able to hear that anyway. So it's all completely good. So how do we do this? Uh, let's open up. Edison, we can do so by going to the clip, right, right clicking on it and selecting edit and audio editor, which will open up in Edison. We can enlarge this. I'm going to open up that wave candy once again and put it on the side just because I really like having a wave candy with me at all times. And here we see the spectrum of the, of the hit. We can also appreciate the clicks here which are a bit brighter than the rest of the signal, which we can see is it's black, and over here we have a bright blue signal. So let's go ahead and zoom in. And first of all, we can see that there's a click right here. So let's go ahead and select this region right here and open up the denoise tool, which is a brush right there. By default, the denoise is set to on, so let's turn that off and turn on the declicker. And I'm going to lower the sensitivity and what this slider does is it tells us how much sensitivity we want the declicker to have is it easy for the declicker to assess that there's a click there or is it a little bit harder to for it to notice that there's a click there so in this case i'm going to set it to medium let's preview it let's remove the declicker and preview it again we can hear that there's a click there all right so let's so let's select preview again there it's gone so let's accept it and we can see here in our spectrum that it's gone right here the click you hear at the very end is because that's uh that's the sample clicking because edison cuts it off at any point in time so there we go that's the first one that's gone let's go ahead and treat the next one now for this one i'm gonna pull back the sensitivity just a little bit accept it there we go All right, let's go ahead and do these with the next guys. Pull it back just a little bit, accept. I'm gonna quickly go through them, accept. And these last couple guys, we can even go a little bit duller on them. So let's pull this even back a little bit further. Accept, there you go. Let's hear this back. You can hear right here that there's just a little bit of click. Very tiny. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can get rid of that. There we go. Very, very good. Now, at the very end, I just want to create a clean fade or de-clicked out. So let's select the last portion of the sample. And over here, I can either fade in with my left click or I can de-click out with my right click. Go ahead and do that with my right click. All right. And let's 
select the whole sample, control A, and drag it back into the playlist. Let's open up Wave Candy again, just so you can visually see what we've done. Here's the original kick. Actually, we have to turn on. Did you me? Oh, yeah, we've muted. There we go. You can see that we have those clicks there. Let's open up the clean one. Very, very cool. Let's open up the wave candy again. Whoops, I missed it. But you can see here that there's the clicks very clearly there. And over here, there's none. It's very, very simple to see. Let's hear it back and forth once again. A huge difference. Now, you can do this in either your recordings, which sometimes in digital, there's clicks and pops. You could also do it to remove um, clicks inside recordings. Some people, sometimes with their tongue, they'll go randomly. Um, you could also do this to remove uh, the digitization and even some some pops if they're t really ticky. All right. I hope you guys liked the video. If you learned something new today, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Um, I'll be uploading a couple more tutorials on denoising and dehumming with uh, Edison. So stay tuned for that. I'm Kevin Ochoa with In The Dog, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.